What's up, MD fans? If you don't know me, my name is Miguel Chang. I'm a bodybuilding journalist from Brazil, and I'll be here every week to bring you the latest news about Brazilian bodybuilding. So, if you want to know more about Brazilian bodybuilding, I will be your source. Make sure to subscribe to MD channel and smash that like button, because this helps us a lot. And I'd like to start this video with this guy here. His name is Felipe Moraes. He's competing at 212 Division, and he's getting ready for his first ever Olympia. In fact, 2022, Mr. Olympia will be only his second ever pro show. He turned pro at 2019 Olympia Amateur in Brazil, then the pandemics arrived and, well, you know the rest of the story. Because of all of that, you know, Felipe could only make his pro debut last November. And guess what? He won the show and he's now qualified for the Olympia. I know this kid for a long time and conditioning, as you can see, was always one of his strong points. He wants to bring back the night with dense, solid, striated muscle. He tells me every time we talk, I want to bring back that look. This show you are seeing right now is Muscle Contest Brazil Expo Super Show. Like I said, this was his first ever pro show and his weight there was only 203 pounds. And for this Olympia, he and his coach, they think he can get to the stage five pounds heavier while keeping the exact same conditioning. He's not the kind of guy that talks too much. He's more on a quiet side. He likes to work in silence. Philippe is a very strong dude, as you can see. He can load the Cybex hack squat machine with like 10 plates on each side. His coach is Ricardo Rocha. This guy really thinks outside the box in terms of training and nutrition. He has his own gym. The gym is located on his backyard. Sometimes they, they, they do a barbecue while they're, they're training during the off-season. And for sure, Rocha will help Felipe to bring his best to the stage this year. I'm not sure where Felipe can land at this year's 2 and 2 division. He's a little taller than the average 2 and 2 competitor. He needs a little more size on his quads, but he's going to be the driest guy on stage with that solid, hard look on his muscles. So let's keep following him until the Olympia. And please tell me, tell me in the comments, what do you think about this guy? We have another great athlete qualified for 2 and 2 division at the Olympia. You may know him, his name is Lucas Coelho. Many people in the USA pronounce Coelho, it's not Coelho, it's Coelho. Lucas did a nice presentation at last year's Olympia. Unfortunately, he didn't make the top 10. We had so many great guys last year, but he was so close. This year, he and his coach, Francisco José Spin, they are working to bring an improved version of his physique, a little bigger and hopefully much drier than last year. Because Lucas has all the size he needs, but when we talk about Olympia, if you are willing to be at top five, top six, you'd better be very dry and very conditioned. And Lucas believed that he can be at top five this year, so he's working hard and he brought some help, some real help. Look at his new trainer. Do you know this guy? Yeah, Roly arrived in Brazil yesterday and he's going to work with Lucas Coelho and make sure Coelho gives all on each workout. Roly will spend a few weeks here training Lucas and making sure that he all his training and his posing are done right. And as you can see, Roly and Coelho just had a workout at Ironberg Training Center, which is a huge training center focused in bodybuilding here in Brazil. And coming back to Roly now, he's already helped it. Uh, Coelho with his posing, you can see here this beautiful posing room. Lucas is a good poser, but Roly is, is helping him with that. Look, here we can see a little more from this posing session. Roly is giving his impressions. We can see Lucas' physique a little better, and we can see how important it is having an experienced guy helping you with posing. Every little detail is important. And after taking a look at Lucas' physique, Roly says that he needs improvements on his upper chest, on his back, especially on his lower back, and they are going to really hammer those points. Lucas is already trying to improve his back for some time now, but I think with Roly's help, I think we are going to see some difference on his back in December. For us in Brazil, it's so nice having guys like Winkler here, sharing his experience, sharing his knowledge. Recently, we saw him helping William Bonac in Netherlands. Bonac needs bigger shoulders and Winkler was there for him. And now he's in Brazil helping Lucas. Maybe we are witnessing a career change for Roly. 
and classic physique Gabriel Zancanelli was there too. He trains in this very same training center, and they even had their triceps compared. Rowley helped him in some poses too, which is great. But let me talk a little about this guy, Zancanelli. They are calling him the Brazilian Bunstead. Of course, Ramon is the superstar in Brazil. His physique is one of the best in the world right now. He may be fighting for the Olympia title this year, but Gabriel Zancanelli, he's very good too. This guy works hard. He may not be so genetically gifted as Ramon, but he tries to compensate that with hard work. He and Ramon shared the stage last November at Muscle Contest Expo Super Show, as you can see here. Ramon won that show, but as you can see, Zancanelli is very good too and this is great for us in brazil because we have not only one guy but two great guys that can do very well at the olympia this year and in the following years zancanelli just won a show in mexico a, a couple months ago he brought his best physique ever on that show his weight in this show was around 221 pounds. His weight limit for classic physique is 230 pounds. Right now, he's starting his prep for the Olympia. His current weight is around 252, 250 pounds. And here we can see a little more of the current physique of Zancanelli. This video was filmed last night. So this is how Gabriel Zancanelli is looking now. Very impressive. He's already very lean and for sure he will bring his best physique ever again on stage in December at Mr. Olympia. He is as tall as Ramon and Bunstead. He has a nice frame. His back has improved a lot. His overall size has improved a lot. And I think that if he can bring the condition, if he can get there, dry and full, he may be in the first callout. I'm talking about a lot of pros, but we have promising amateurs over here too. One of them is this kid here, Chris Figueiredo. Matt Jensen is his coach and Ricardo Correa, good boy, is training him every day in the gym. He, Chris is going for his pro card in 11 weeks. Right now, he's around 270 pounds. Root Boy told me they are working hard on his back. From the front, he's good. He has a nice structure. He has huge arms. They are around 23 inches right now. And here we can see him guest posing almost one year ago. He's much bigger now. And if he brings his A game in 11 weeks, he will be one of the favorites for the pro card. He's very young, he has great people on his side, like Matt Jensen, Root Boy. No doubt, this kid has a bright future in bodybuilding. But I'd like to know your opinion. What do you think about Chris? What do you think about Zancanelli? Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because we have great content being published here every day. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. See you next week.